page 194, Proverbs 5 through 7, The Peril of Adultery. Chapter 5, The Peril of Adultery. 6, Dangerous Promises. 7, The Crafty Prostitute. Beginning with chapter 5, Solomon turns from a general appeal to a more specific application of wisdom in the everyday situations of life. Pitfalls and snares abound, ready to entangle and destroy the unwary. Immorality, indebtedness, laziness, falsehood, pride. Indulging in these sins is a sure invitation to poverty and disaster. Temptation through alluring can lead to deadly consequences. Don't listen to its calls. Rather, respond to the call of wisdom, which among its many benefits is the favor of the Lord. Proverbs chapter 5 My son, pay attention to my wisdom. Turn your ear to my understanding, that you may maintain discretion, that your lips may preserve knowledge. For the lips of an adulteress drip honey, her mouth is smoother than oil. But in the end she is as bitter as wormwood, and as sharp as a two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death, her steps lead straight to Sheol. She gives no thought to the way of life, her ways are crooked and she doesn't know it. Now therefore, my sons, listen to me. Don't depart from the words of my mouth. Remove your way far from her, don't come near the door of her house, lest you give your honor to others, and your years to the cruel one, lest strangers feast on your wealth, and your labors enrich another man's house. You will groan at your latter end, when your flesh and your body are consumed, and say, How I have hated instruction, and my heart despised reproof. Neither have I obeyed the voice of my teachers, nor turned my ear to those who instructed me. I have come to the brink of utter ruin, in the midst of the gathered assembly. Drink water out of your own cistern, running water out of your own well. Should your springs overflow in the streets, streams of water in the public squares? Let them be for yourself alone, not for strangers with you. Let your spring be blessed, rejoice in the wife of your youth. A loving hind and a pleasant doe, let her breast satisfy you at all times, be captivated always with her love. For why should you, my son, be captivated with an adulteress? Why embrace the bosom of another? For the ways of man are before the eyes of Yahweh. He examines all his paths. The evil deeds of the wicked ensnare him. The cords of his sin hold him firmly. He will die for lack of instruction. In the greatness of his folly he will go astray. Proverbs chapter 6 my son, if you have become collateral for your neighbor, if you have struck your hands in pledge for a stranger, you are trapped by the words of your mouth, you are ensnared with the words of your mouth. Do this now, my son, and deliver yourself, seeing you have come into the hand of your neighbor. Go, humble yourself, press your plea with your neighbor, give no sleep to your eyes, nor slumber to your eyelids. Free yourself like a gazelle from the hand of the hunter, like a bird from the snare of the fowler. Go to the ant, you sluggard, consider her ways and be wise, which having no chief, overseer, or ruler, provides her bread in the summer, and gathers her food in the harvest. How long will you sleep, sluggard? When will you arise out of your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So your poverty will come as a robber, and your scarcity as an armed man." A worthless person, a man of iniquity, is he who walks with a perverse mouth, who winks with his eyes, who signals with his feet, who motions with his fingers, in whose heart is perverseness, who devises evil continually, who always sows discord. Therefore his calamity will come suddenly, he will be broken suddenly and that without remedy. There are six things which Yahweh hates, yes, seven which are an abomination to him, haughty eyes, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked schemes, feet that are swift in running to mischief, 
a false witness who utters lies, and he who sows discord among brothers. My son, keep your father's commandment, and don't forsake your mother's teaching. Bind them continually on your heart, tie them around your neck. When you walk, it will lead you. When you sleep, it will watch over you. When you awake, it will talk with you. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light. Reproofs of instruction are the way of life, to keep you from the immoral woman, from the flattery of the wayward wife's tongue. Don't lust after her beauty in your heart, neither let her captivate you with her eyelids. For a prostitute reduces you to a piece of bread, the adulteress hunts for your precious life. Can a man scoop fire into his lap, and his clothes not be burned? Or can one walk on hot coals, and his feet not be scorched? So is he who goes into his neighbor's wife. Whoever touches her will not be unpunished. Men don't despise a thief if he steals to satisfy himself when he is hungry. But if he is found, he shall restore seven times. He shall give all the wealth of his house. He who commits adultery with a woman is void of understanding. He who does it destroys his own soul. He will get wounds and dishonor. His reproach will not be wiped away. For jealousy arouses the fury of the husband. He won't spare in the day of vengeance. He won't regard any ransom, neither will he rest content, though you give many gifts. Proverbs chapter 7 My son, keep my words. Lay up my commandments within you. Keep my commandments and live. Guard my teaching as the apple of your eye. Bind them on your fingers. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Tell wisdom, you are my sister. Call understanding your relative, that they may keep you from the strange woman, from the foreigner who flatters with her words. For at the window of my house I looked out through my lattice. I saw among the simple ones, I discerned among the youths a young man void of understanding. Passing through the street near her corner, he went the way to her house. In the twilight, in the evening of the day, in the middle of the night, and in the darkness... Behold, there a woman met him with the attire of a prostitute, and with crafty intent. She is loud and defiant. Her feet don't stay in her house. Now she is in the streets, now in the squares, and lurking at every corner. So she caught him and kissed him. With an impudent face she said to him, Sacrifices of peace offerings are with me. This day I have paid my vows. Therefore I came out to meet you, to diligently seek your face, and I have found you. I have spread my couch with carpets of tapestry, with striped cloths of the yarn of Egypt. I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let's take our fill of loving until the morning. Let's solace ourselves with loving. For my husband isn't at home. He has gone on a long journey. He has taken a bag of money with him. He will come home at the full moon. With persuasive words she led him astray. With the flattering of her lips she seduced him. He followed her immediately, as an ox goes to the slaughter, as a fool stepping into a noose, until an arrow strikes through his liver, as a bird hurries to the snare, and doesn't know that it will cost his life. Now, therefore, sons, listen to me. Pay attention to the words of my mouth. Don't let your heart turn to her ways. Don't go astray in her paths. For she has thrown down many wounded. Yes, all her slain are a mighty host. Her house is the way to Sheol going down to the chambers of death.